So, sabi nga ni Jeboy, it's uh, napapanahon. Why, mamaya makikita nyo why Easter Egg yung pakaring kid beetles. So, isa surprise mo na kayo, wala mo ng pictures. So, the outline for my <laughs> so the taxonomy, the habitat distribution, the conservation status, and the criteria for the red piece kung bakit siya na-include yung Easter Egg beetles. Okay? So actually, uh, they belong to, siyempre, Coleoptera, we all know that, Colcolionidae, and Entimini, with the Arcuter, the broad-nosed weevils. Kasi we are familiar with the weevils as the long snout, di ba? And long snout beetles. But for them, uh, it was established, the Entimini subfamily for all broad-nosed weevils. So square siya, or medyo rectangular, pero uh, wider ang base, compared doon sa isa, na very long snout. So the subfamily in Timini actually have 56 tribes, but the focus of, our, of my talk is more on the tribe pakering kind. Uh, the spelling, be careful, kasi pagdating sa genus pakering kus, nag-double R na siya. But for the tribe, one R na ang pakering kind. Okay? So mag, pag nagano na yung spelling na tayo. Okay? So the genera actually is composed of um, 14. Then in the Philippines, 10. But lately, kanina ko lang nakita na they removed another two. So instead of 14, nagiging 12 na lang siya. Pero hindi ko na hindi ko na edit yung aking ano. Pero sa ngayon 14. So the subgenera actually are 10, all in the Philippines, and mo and all are endemic. Okay. So the species nung ginagawa ko to because it is pa, it is my master's thesis. The Pakering Kainy actually started when I do my special problem under Dr. Victor P. Kaput, so he's an advisor ko. So it started as a special problem. So ang una, comparative lang, morphologically, between the tribes, uh, Philippine tribe, the genera of the Pakering Kainy. So yun lang yung special problem. Actually, supposed to be, ang, ang akala ko is si Amy ang magtutuloy kasi nung time na yun, nung Pagkasama, sabay kami ni Amy, parang nagustuhan niya yung mga reveals. Kaso si Amy nag-concentrate into moths, lepidopterans. Tapos, uh, I continued for my master thesis for the, for the genus Metaposertus. It is because noon ay 300, um, around 152 species pa lang siya. Ngayon, ngayon ay nagiging 200 something na. Okay? For the Metaposertus alone. But for the Pakirinkus, 182. So, and the rest of the genera. So, for now, the Philippines have 500, approximately 562. Okay, approximately kasi soon, sana lumabas na. So, meron kaming ongoing na publication for at least 8 species. New species for that. So, yan yung itsura basically nung yung timini, the broad nose. So, for yan. For the tribe Pakering Kaini, they are distinguished from other genera because of their antenna. Yung uh, area kung saan nag-appear yung antenna. So doon. Kasi yung iba, nandito sa likod ng neck. Yung iba, medyo dun sa uh, along the nose. Yung dito sa... Yung iba, dito. Yung iba, dito. So sa kanila, itong portion na to. So the, the antenna group also goes down. So yun yung... Uh, characteristic ng tribe. So, the, there is, um, sa classification actually ng core colonity alone ay very chaotic. And for the subfamilies in Pimini, which are tribe belongs, so marami ding uh, uh, nangyaring pagbabago. So first, it was from uh, subfamily Brachydirini uh, before the time of Heather. So, they belong siya sa Brachydirini, but the tribe ay IP pa rin. Hindi I-N-I, kundi N-A-E. So, di ba, inayos yun. Then, for Cushel in 1995, the subfamily nagbago. So, naging Brachydirini. Then, same pa rin ang tribe, pa rin kay Ni. Ni. Yan. Then, Thompson and Zarasaga, uh, establish the subfamily in Timini. Then, doon nila inayos ang tribe into Pakirin kay Ni and Aina. Okay? So, after this, I 
Uh, they also, the Thompson actually also established the family brachycerity. So, kaya inalis na yung lahat ng road nose trivial under doon. And they retain sa subfamily in the Okay? Then, for the tripacurrent kinase, so we have yung history nung pag-establish ng mga iba't ibang genera. So, kanya sabi ko na 14. So, from Ger Germar in 1824, nagsimula si because of Pacaricus uh, muniliferus, which is shows uh, collected along the parang ano ba, expressway going to Batangas. So, dyan yung nakolect tayo yung Pacaricus muniliferus. Okay? So, si Germar la na describe. Then, Erexon um, described the Apusirtus in 1834. Followed by Berings, the Spinomorpha in 1887. Then Pateritis is actually not in the Philippines, present in the Philippines in 1892 by Foss. Same with Apocertigius. Apocertigius is also not found in the Philippines. So you can log it down. Then we have the rest for Heller. So Heller actually described in 1912 at least five genera. They also include the seven subgenera for the Metaposertus group. The Metapos, genus Metaposertus. The, uh, the subgenus Artaposertus, Sumanosertus, Metaposertus, Orthosertus, Clerocertus, you know, Morphordea, and Trachycertus. Okay? So, yun yung seven subgenera. Then, in 1919, Schultz actually also established the subgenus Proaposertus under genus Metaposertus doon sa kanyang two volumes. Then, Schultz in 1922, I elevated the subgenus um, Pumalocertus into gen genus. Okay? Then, Schultz again in 1924 established that sa, the genus Eumacrocertus and the subgenus Ecnotaposertus under the genus Notaposertus. Okay? Then, Kuno uh, established Kotoshuzu in 1942, which pa is um, distributed only in Taiwan. But now, uh, yung nga sabi ko kanina, uh, kanina ko lang nakita yung um, catalog ni Alonzo, Azorna Saga, na they removed Kotoshuzu under the tripacidin kind. Then, Rosella Schaumburgia in 1977 also was removed in 2010 under the tribe pakirin kainin. So, hindi na siya under. Ito yung dalawang genus na nirinomove. Yung Putoshuzo at yung Schaumburgia. Then, as Alonzo Sarasada and Lai, uh, binalik nila yung, di ba, inelevate kanina ni Schultz in 1922 yung Humanosertus into genus. Ngayon naman, binalik ni Alonzo Sarasada and Lai into subgenus. Then, kami ni Sir, uh, the product of my thesis, MS thesis, Inelevate ulit namin into genus or because of many characters we found on the, as in ibang iba siya, compared to rest of the genera. So according to shows, they found actually in vast tropical vegetation between 500 to 2,000 meter above sea level, between 16 degrees to 18 degrees north latitude. But now, I anywhere you can find them. Okay? No elevation na actually, it does not matter na yung elevation. And they are found now actually crouching agricultural areas and becoming pests of horticultural and agricultural crops. So maybe because of the conversion of the forest into agricultural land. So kaya nagiging maraming problema yan ngayon sa binget, nagiging best na. Also, ang last kong encounter actually ay sa citrus. So, di ba, may isang um, species na genus metaposertus, subgenus trachycertus na uh, best sa citrus. Then, for the distribution, per genera. So, ininan ko siya. So, for apocertigius, which is not present, eh? not present in the Philippines, so it can only be found in Borneo. There's only one species of apocertigius. Next is for kutujusu, only also one species found in Taiwan. So, the, maybe that's why siguro na hindi siya. Um, as far as I, uh, nakita ko yung pictures, iba siya doon sa the rest of the Pacarin Then, I've got the uh, 
Pakirinkus. So our Pakirinkus actually have 182 species found in Japan, Philippines, Taiwan, Fiji, and New Caledonia. For Pakirinkus, the high uh, population actually or maraming species na makikita ay doon sa around Cordillera region. So maraming na-describe actually from Baguio going up to Binge. Then for Pantoritis, we have 36 species can be found in New Guinea, Fiji, Solomons, Trobriand Islands, and Australia. So, Trobriand Islands sa taas na Solomon niya. Ah, no, no, Fiji. Fiji. Then you have the Shambergia. So, it is uh, kaya very questionable kasi it can only be found in Reunion Island near Madagascar. One species also. Then for Spinomorpha, we have one uh, species actually I found, uh, found in the Philippines, Molokas, and New Guinea, and is an actually 18 species pala as Pinomorpa. 18 species, Philippines, Molokas, and New Guinea. So ito yung medyo bigger na pakiringku, na beetles, and they also have colorful beetles, designs. And the endemic genera in the Philippines, I we have seven. Okay, so kanina sa ko 562, approximately 562. So all found in the Philippines from Luzon, Bay to Batanes, going down to Sulu and Tawi-Tawi. Meron tayo. Especially for the Metapusirtus. Yung Metapusirtus talaga ang uh, very, kumbaga sa, sa genus, very common sa lahat. The rest for our Apusirtus, Yumaclosirtus, Yupacrincus ay one species lang sila. So, Metapusirtus talaga yung pinakamarami. Which, uh, unfortunately, ay iwan ko lang kung tatanggapin ng isang estudyante ko na itutuloy niya ito. Kasi hindi ko na kaya. <laughs> so, dami na responsibilities. So, one of my students ay convinced actually to continue the Metapusirtus and inaantay na lang namin yung scholarship niya sa Japan. Kasi meron ng tumanggap sa kanyang sensei doon. So, he will, she, he will bring, kaya maglo-loan kami ulit sa inyo and she will work with it sa, sa kanyang MS thesis. So, these are our Philippine Pakwari Tiny. So, yan yung mga kung gano sila kaganda. Very attractive. Kahit attractive sila, only few pa rin ang nag-work sa kanila. So, sa ngayon sa Pilipinas, may uh, ako, si sa MSU, kanimutang yung pangalan niya? Ah, hindi. Yung sudyante ni Ma'am Alma. Bali ba ka, Ma'am Alma? Si Ma'am Alma kasi advisor. May meron siya isang si... CMU. CMU ba yun? CMU. 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 May meron siya yung sudyante uh, doon na isa na nag-work. Ma'am Alma, paliyentes na advising? Hindi. Advising na si Ma'am Alma. Pero, kaya chichismis ko ba? <laughs> Kine-question kasi yung work niya. Kaya ako, ay I was, di ba, naglaylo ako. So, nilive ko na to. Ngayon, kinontak ko ako ng mga experts that I need to go back down. Kasi merong mga nagpublish na questionable. So, kaya, ayun. Kaya, unti-unti, sana nga, bumalik ako. <laughs> actually, I, it was planned, actually, na this year, sana, magpo-postdoc ako. Huwag na tayo pick up. Nasa ano? Yung tatlong dyan na lang, huwag na tayo pick up. So, supposed to be magpo-postdoc, sir. So, ito tatrabawin mo sana. Kaso, may ibang offer na nangangailangan na aking servisyo. So, na-retain. Kaya hanggang 3 years lang talaga ako dun sa isang servisyo na yun. Para, tama na yung sabayan, di ba? So, yan po, yung mga ganun. Papakita ko sa inyo isa-isa. So, yan, yung ating tatlo, the Humanosertus. Actually, the, the rest are very colorful except for the Humanosertus. May ilan na very dull. Brown, dark brown, grayish. Yun na yung ang kulay niya. Kaya yung mag-gayas niyo. sa iba na they are very colorful. Uh, they are very colorful, very intricate yung designs. Yung ganun. So, yan. So, ito lang yung nakuha kong picture sa kay Galing kay Heller na book yung Sanotapus virtus. But it is black yung full body with cobalt spots. Yung bluish gray blue na spots. Kanyang design. The Pakarinkos actually have many, many, many designs dun sa katawan nila. 
Then, for the conservation status, so we have nine genera recording in the country, seven genera are endemic in the country, sa, sa atin, around 420 species endemic to the country. Imagine, magtatrabawin ko lahat yan. Kaya ko ba? <laughs> Then we had uh, seven species recently described no, uh, two years ago, la, two years ago, and it is have more new species to be discovered and described. So um, current, I mean, we five for negros na coming out. Then isa from Banahaw. Then we still have from some in, in Mindanao, na ilalabas din. So yun. So conservation status. Ano ba? Wala. <laughs> Basically, parang wala. Okay. Di ba? Parang um, wala. So ngayon, saan mo sila makakolekta? Sa, ti sa tingin nyo, where you can collect them now? <laughs> Tama. So they are available in eBay. So with a price ranging from 7 to actually, if you depended on sa rarity, mas mataas pa. 7 dollars up. So, just like Pangkirin Pools or Mr. Ed Beatles that they have there. Okay, so in eBay, even the photographs. Ito, yung isa. Ginawa niya, nilagay niya sa ubayo, so gagawin mo lang na. <laughs> so, dito nakalagay, ay, hindi kita. No, ano dapat yan? Uh, it is not, uh, tagda, no delivery ba in the Philippines. Pero galing sa Philippines yung specimen. Wow. Parang ganon. So, actually, meron, makadownload ka ng photographs, but you have to pay. So, marami silang ganon. Now, they're because of their conservation, yung mga designs nila. So, you can download them, pero you have to pay. Meron yung, uh, depende sa pricing, diba? depende doon sa Ano ka tawag doon? Resolution ng no, no kind of pictures. So marami sa internet. Actually, I have a friend. Sabi ko, pinagalitan ko. Nakadescribe siya ng isang new species na binili niya sa ipi. Nakadescribe siya ng new species. Sabi ko, pwede ba yun? Liga, ano ba yun? Pwede ba yun na? From ipi niya nagbili. Tapos, accepted siya. Pwede siya describe as new species. It's an e-pay to the person of the investor. Uh -huh. It's the person who collected that sold it to the So, that's it. So, that's why he said that he's not going to the Philippines because he's not going to go to the online. I said ba? Sabi ko sa kanya, but you are patronizing those that are poaching, uh, poaching and illegal collecting. He's not going to think about it. So for the red list criteria, yun yung dinamit namin. Tama ako, Jeboy. Known from the original collection, known only from extremely limited range and habitat, known from localities that are under severe threat and 100% in the city. So lahat po na includes sa list ay 100% in them for the Philippine red list. So known from localities that are under severe threat uh, because of, syempre, from forest naging yung meron mga conversions. So, uh, actually, noon, nung first time kong pumunta ng, ng Mount Mayon, uh, as, uh, nung kasama ko Dr. Gapod, nung first time kong pumunta doon, doon pa lang sa, parang palasyon, palas ba yun? Ano, uh, doon sa may Mount Mayon. Doon pa lang sa garden nila, nagsawa na ako. Nung next kong balik, wala na sila. Oo, oh, hindi ko na nakikita. Sabi ng mga nung guys namin, ma'am, pwede pa kayo, makiat um, makiat pa kayo, meron naman doon. Pero parang masyado na mataas. Pero doon, nung time na yon ay wala na. Ngayon? Ngayon ay parang wala na din siguro. Kasi yes, sa, taas. sa taas meron. <laughs> Pero doon sa may parang palasyo doon, parang hotel ba yon <laughs> Doon parang sa parang hotel pa lang yun nakakaya. Ang dami na, ang dami ko ng species na nakakolekta doon. So, pa nung uling balik ko, wala na akong makita. Burn <laughs> soup. Kaya, so, uh, nung punta ko kasi doon, medyo marami pang shrubs, marami pang bushes. Ito ngayon ay dahil siguro umano si Mayon. Oo. Naglipat na. Also, here in Makiling, 
Pag dito ka sa Makiling, dati ma marami yan dyang Luzonenskis sa mga weeds lang. Ngayon, bihira na. Ang makikita mo na lang ngayon ay yung mga dark brown. Oo, na Trachycertus. So, dati naman, pag, she, pag may mga ferns na, marami ka na makukuha. So, ngayon ay talagang aakyat ka sa taas. Mga two, three individuals lang din makukuha. So, medyo nag nag-change na talaga yung number of population. At talagang marunong na silang, nag-adapt na silang magtago. Makano yung napasantan? Sa Santan ay pakiringkus mo ni Liferus. Ah, uh, Jermar. So, so, ano yan, uh, pest din, nung no, major pest siya nakakaw. Uh, yung ano nila, bark, boring, weaver, doon tawag nila. So, actually, yung larva ay nandun sa bark. Doon na ganang patawag. Yung sa ano, yung nasa ferns, sa Bordeos. Sa? Bordeos. Sa Bordeos, yung anong kulay? Parang may spot na green eh. Ah, uh, meron kasi ang ang sa pulilyo ay ano ngayon sa sir pulilyoensis. Oo, meron daw pulilyo, may lozonensis. May banakawensis siya nang bago tayo new record doon sa mga. Tapos may bago new record doon din na dalawang pakiringkus. Yun sa sa pulilyo. So, iba ko lang lalabas na ni sir yung ang publication din daw. <laughs> nasa kay sir, nasa kamay ni sir. So, yun. Um Sa ngayon, gusto kong puntahan actually da, kasi uh, gawa ni Ace, Rapu Rapu Island. Kasi parang based doon sa kanyang collection, medyo marami pa. So yun yung gusto kong tingnan. Yung mga small islands, kung meron pa, meron pa talaga. Eh, kung may nakuha sa Batanes, kasi nawawala yung bote. <laughs> <laughs> Alam ko nga, nalimay niya sa akin ni Dadan yun. Kinolektahan ko na. So, yun, yung small islands. Any questions po? So, sabi ko sa inyo, madibilis lang eh. So, these are my references for my, for my talk. And happy Easter. So, see the Easter eggs and the, the beetles. 